What's up YouTube, it's Eric KJ4YZI and what is the difference between Ham Radio Deluxe and my FT450? The answer is I'm doing it wirelessly through the Rig Expert wireless HF interface. Let's check it out. CQ, CQ KJ4YZI. Now, coming to you from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida, you're watching Ham Radio Concepts. Okay, so what is the uh, wireless interface? This is the Rig Expert WTI-1 wireless transceiver interface. This gives you the ability to use your HF rig uh, anywhere in your home or anywhere in the world. Uh, it can be set up locally on your Wi-Fi or through IP addressing, so you can be in a hotel in Nevada and work your HF station at home in Miami. Um, what I'll do is I'll kind of give you an idea of what this is and I'll show you it in action. Keep in mind that there are many different scenarios to set this up. All the manuals can be available and found on the Rig Expert website, rigexpert.com. But my uh, goal here is to just kind of give you some quick tips because it can be a little bit uh, tricky setting up in your situation. It took me a little while to figure it out, but it's not impossible. Uh, between reading the manuals online and checking out my video, hopefully you learned something. So, this box uses a 25 pin, uh, like the old standard uh, LPT1 ports, okay? Uh, 25 pin with USB and power. It can be also used with an RS-485 uh, interface here. But uh, basically, you buy the cable that's a show, uh, meant for your radio. In this situation, my FT450, I have this cable here. Now, I did make a mistake and had to put my own end on here. This is a mouse uh, PS2 port for my data jack on the back of the radio. But the good thing is that Rig Expert gives you all the resources online to make your own cable. You don't have to buy this if you don't want. They give you all the pinouts and schematics, uh, and that's how I put my own end on here because of uh, what I, my situation, what I had to do, uh, required a different pinout. So I had a spare one sitting here, and they gave me the pinout to this connector here, and I made my own. Very simple. Um, but it'll interface with the cable that you get for your radio for cap control and PTT as well as CW and others. Um, so this is the cable that I have, and your cable might be different, of course. Uh, it comes with a USB cable as well, a high-quality shielded USB cable. This is for setting up the rig expert. This is not for operating it. You can, I guess, operate it with the USB, but your goal is to use it wirelessly. So this is mainly for the setup procedure, um, which I'll get to here in one minute. And of course, the power supply, which is a uh, European or American adapter here. Okay, and uh, the manuals, like I said, are all online. So. Uh, the lights in the front here give you indication that you have power, that you have network with your Wi-Fi, link to the program I'm about to show you, uh, cat control when your radio is connected to it, PTT when you're transmitting, and CW when you're in that mode. Um, and keep in mind, this cable on here, this is not an audio cable here, this is for the CW key. Okay, so this is going to go in the front of my radio, and yours may be different, but that's instead of using a paddle, if you want to use CW remotely, it's going to go through that cable. So this thing allows you, with Ham Radio Deluxe or FL Digi or MMSS TV, a bunch of different software can be used with this. I prefer Ham Radio Deluxe. Um, that's what I'm familiar with. I won't show you exactly all the settings on Ham Radio Deluxe. I leave that up to you to find out how to set that up on your computer because you may have different COM ports or you may have different uh, software or uh, operating systems. So uh, the generic idea I'll give you on the video. So let's get to it. The Rig Expert WTI-1, I'll just uh, we'll switch over here to the on screen and show you the installation first. All right, so I have the unit plugged in on USB. <clears throat> And when you install the software, you should have a folder here, Rig Expert WTI. There's two main things you want. The WTI configurator, that's what sets the settings in the Rig Expert. And the Shacklink software is what links your computer to the, uh, the device. So let me uh, go to the configurator first. All right. And basically, this is where you set up your Wi Fi and your network and stuff. This is the most important. First, your Wi Fi. You're going to have to type in your SSID of your Wi-Fi uh, uh, network. <clears throat> this is mine, super fast Wi-Fi. And the password. When you do that, you hit apply. Okay, that's going to, you'll hear it, it's shutting off. It just restarted. And now it is connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, networking. Now I have Comcast and 
Uh, this is going to be dependent on your internet provider or your modem. For instance, if you have Uverse, your D, your gateway is going to be 192.168.1.254, and that's right on the side of the modem. Mine, Xfinity, is 10.0.0.1. Okay, that's the gateway. DNS should be the same. The IP mask would be uh, standard for locally 255, 255, 255, 0. Now the IP address here, and again, this is going to be di this is locally what I'm showing you for uh, in my my home network. If I have the shack in my room and I want to sit on my laptop in the living room, uh, that's what this is. Or if the radio is upstairs and I'm downstairs. If you're using this remotely from a hotel out of state. You're going to have to use either static IP or a different IP address configuration. Honestly, I haven't played with that yet, so I'm, I'm leaving that out of the video. Plus, that's very confusing to some people. So I don't want that. That's if you're familiar with IT and networking, you're going to want to use a static IP for your uh, your network because this right here will only allow you network access when you're on your own Wi-Fi. Okay, um, so. We're going to use uh, 10.0.0.50, which is my one of my local uh, dynamic IPs that it hands out. Okay, we'll hit apply, and uh, you'll hear it shuts off and restarts. All right, device connected. We we'll go to permissions. Uh, this is basically if you want to have several users access to be able to use this remotely, uh, you would make profiles for them. So in this case, I'm just doing it for mine. Uh, the password's my call KJ4YZI. And uh, cat inter I have cat availability, uh, PTT, so I can transmit, and audio levels. If you want to restrict someone from transmitting, you would take off the PTT. This way, if it's only cat and audio, they can scroll around, manipulate your radio, but they can't transmit. All right. Uh, that way, they can listen if they're uh, not authorized or they're not uh, licensed yet, or you just don't want them transmitting. All right. Uh, connection will lead. That's this is going to be for your external. Um, you know, configuration from outside of your Wi-Fi network. So we're going to leave all this alone. The uh, file sections where you update your firmware. Here, uh, you can download the firmware files from the Rig Expert site. And the status. So this will show me I'm connected to Wi-Fi. And there's also a light on the top that shows uh, net, which means you're connected to network. All right. So we're going to save and exit. Now, it resets again. Uh, you're going to open the Shack Link software. And this is what's going to, uh, you're going to set up here for um, connecting your computer to the device which connects to Ham Radio Deluxe and your radio. Now, a uh, couple other important things. You'll see I'm connected here. When you start it, it's going to say not connected. Main thing is go to tools and settings. And uh, you have to make serial ports, which are virtual, okay, for um, remote uh, control, uh, computer operated. Uh, computer X oh, cat. Uh, I'm forgetting what cat means, but that's basically the rig control. Uh, PTT or CW key. Okay, so these are remote ports or virtual ports that this is going to make in your computer. For easiest uh, video demonstration, I chose three, four, five, and six. Now, if you, if these aren't available for you, you're going to have to pick four COM ports that are available. If you don't have four COM ports available, that's another whole topic. You have to research how to make, how to free up COM ports or, or gain additional COM ports. Uh, you're going to need four of them. Mainly two. These are the two you're really going to use unless you're using FSK or RS-485 interface. Um, I'm using three for the ham radio deluxe to the radio and four for the remote keying. Those are the two I'm using. All right. The network. Now this is where, remember the uh, IP address we put in the configurator. This is the address here. Uh, this is the, the dynamic one that my router is handing out for me and the password for my profile. Uh, leave the rest of the stuff alone and you can export this if you'd like for somebody if they need your settings you can export the settings so that they can get on it remotely without having to walk them through it. Audio, okay, uh, there's a bunch, you, you might have, I have several different sound cards on my computer but basically the audio input and output are going to be the, uh, the microphone for in and the speakers for out. Okay, uh, you might have these might differ on your computer or laptop or sound card, but that's basically what you're going to want to use. All right, and um, leave the sample rate and stuff alone. The audio buffering should be as low as possible, uh, but unless you're uh, using it remotely, 
uh, over the internet, you might want to raise this, all right? Um, so, and we're going to leave that alone and hit OK. Now, again, you'll see there's a link here, all right? And um, it's connected to this program and this computer are connected to the WTI-1. Now we're going to fire up Ham Radio Deluxe, and it's going to connect it to the radio. So basically, the WTI-1 is acting as the middleman. I already have my settings saved in here. If you're not familiar with uh, Ham Radio Deluxe setup with your radio for cat control, plenty of information online. Um, and there's also a manual on the Rig Expert website on how to do this. But uh, again, uh, I'm just browsing through this here real quick because it was a little bit tricky to get it set up, and some people might have trouble. So hopefully this will help you out. So we're just going to connect. Now, you'll see the cat light just lit up on the shack link. Of course, on the top of the WTI, I now have a power, a net, a link, and a cat light. So this is seeing my radio here. I'm on 20 meters on the PSK frequency, and that's what I'm going to show you just for a demo, the PSK. I'm not going to get into uh, making contacts over voice just because uh, I don't feel like scrolling around finding a, a signal. PSK is... Uh, a good demo mode and also uh, PSK will be on my YouTube channel if you're not familiar with that I'm gonna make a whole series on how to operate it very cool that's another video but uh, ham radio deluxe right now is connected to uh, my my radio so I can switch bands here let's see okay there it goes a little bit of a lag here um, but I can connect uh, right now. Now I'm manipulating my transceiver. I can say 40 meters. I'll go back to 20. Um, so I have full control as I would with my radio connected directly to my computer. But um, now it's over Wi-Fi. And if you're on the Internet, you can do it remotely. Okay. And uh, I'm going to get into Digital Master here. Um, and we'll get that going. And here's Digital Master working through Ham Radio Deluxe linked up. Okay, and these all these signals here are coming in with the device over Wi-Fi. Uh, I'll show you this in a second on camera, but um, basically uh, it's working. And this, and mind you, this is a very poorly tuned, poorly working uh, vertical that I have—a quad band uh, uh, 10. 15, 20, and 40 meter high gain vertical, which is just off the charts because of the weather I've had. But uh, look at the signals coming in. And that's a whole other video on my channel with the PSK, uh, how to operate that and stuff. But um, now I'll show you here. Um, watch here. I'll just do a CQ real quick and see the radios in transmit. In fact, I'll turn on the... That is on my handheld sideband receiver. I'll stop it. Alright, so that was, uh, that's my radio train. I just got the handheld sideband here showing that it's in transmit. I'll do it again. Alright, so radio is transmitting. And uh, let me show you this on, on uh, camera. Alright, so here's the digital master gun I was just showing you. Alright, my little sideband receiver my station okay and here's the rig expert so you'll see the usb is not even connected all right it's just running if you look at the net light uh it's running just purely on wi-fi and uh, i'll click right here all right and it's transmitting all right and then i'll stop it here So, there you have it. Uh, working like a charm. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on my channel. Please subscribe. Leave some thumbs up. And uh, any questions, feel free to ask. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.